Good morning, everyone, and good morning, Turtle Club. It is just a little bit after 8 a.m. Had some technical difficulties this morning, but we are back to streaming because we have our rock garden finished and all of the work-related stuff that was kind of popping its way is all settled. Um, not sure what the computer error just came up, but not entirely concerned with that. So let's... It's streaming, and that's really all we care about at the moment. So let's get this up here on our phone. Good morning, everyone. All right, let's see what she has to say here, guys. Blathers. We have the stamp rally from the 18th to the 31st. I've heard of the stamp rally because other Animal Crossing games have done the stamp rally, but I don't really know other than we're supposed to be running around and checking things, what all that entails. So we'll go look at Blathers in a few seconds, but the first thing we're going to do is I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen information about how, oh, well that was easy, it's Lavelle. You have a set number of villagers that will visit, special villagers that will visit, Lavelle, Gulliver, uh, Flick, CJ, and all those people. And Savannah kicks... I went out of Savannah. Sahara, Kix, and Leaf are the guaranteed ones, but Flick, CJ, LaBelle, Gulliver, and Red are not guaranteed. So, and Red presumably can appear when other guests are here, but I've only seen that happen like twice. So, let's see here. All right. So it looks like it is LaBelle, so we're going to go give her her due first. Let's see what we can do with the fashion theme here. Sure, why not? Let's get to it. Best goth outfit? Mm, okay. That's going to be really interesting, all things considered. And... Something that might scare your mother. Okay. It's a vampire costume. Okay. Huh. Well. So. I'm... I'm... I'm going to see what we have in the old closet that could be vampire goth, because there's there's different versions of goth. But it's been taken to mean this, like, movie, theater, horror kind of stuff. So let's first put this thing on to kind of get an idea what we're going for here. So we're going for, like... Barnabas Jones from Dark Shadows is what we're going for. All right. Um, this will be much, much easier to do from the wardrobe. Yes, get changed. Do, 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 do. All right, so we got the shirt already. So the pants... We really don't have anything that goes necessarily with the purple of that or the tan of that um, well it depends on the goth you're going for guys I'm joined on the couch today with Degrat <coughs> but the purple is really going to be what's throwing it a bit um hmm Yeah, we're kind of going with like over the top, right? Shiny black pants, there we go. Uh, I think we'll pass on the pleather shorts. 
That kind of says, like, scary, don't mess with me, in a sense. Or this one says old. Which vampires are as well. That, that's not... Yeah... Don't know if we're gonna go with. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the monocle, and I'm really thinking the wig. And we'll go for the label socks just to kind of get in good with the judges. And the antique black boots. I think that's probably where we'll go with this. And as far as bags go, that's like old looking, right? I mean, it's got the rule roll and stuff in it. All right, we'll call that good though for now. Let's see here. We're gonna call this Barnabas Jones is extremely confused as to what century this is. Or if anyone out there reads Manhwa, the uh, Korean manga, then they may know what happened to Dracula when he woke up and completely become enthused with ramen. Cup ramen, no less. Has a goth look to it and is very unique. I like it. Okay. LaBelle using me for, like, clothing coordination is not a good thing. If, if I'm the source for color coordination, this is just going to go downhill for this little island. But, you know, we pulled it off. Um, we'll go ahead and put that in storage. Put that back in storage. Use the quick unequip here. Go back to our Final Fantasy-esque outfit for the White Mage. Take off the monocle. I really like the bottleneck glasses for the Confused Mage look. So, um, back to the wardrobe. While we are barefooting it around here. I don't know if I have any socks on with that outfit either. Yes, get changed. And then we're going to kind of show off the stuff that we did manage to accomplish, which was our rock garden. Uh, let's see here. Where are... There they are. And we want the... No, not the handlebar mustache. We want the curly mustache. And mage's hat... And that should do it. All right. So, not a whole huge lot has changed with the island. It's still covered in weeds, and we are still planning on having people show up later this week on Friday to help us de-weed the whole entire island. So get ready to do some de-weeding, guys, on that day when we do our long stream. Uh, we have changed a little bit of the gardens out. Uh, it's just a letter from Tammy. We so need to get better about writing people letters. Oh, there's a bug. We have no bug net. So here is the the flowers, though. And you can see that we're we're doing pretty good with that. We expanded it to be double wide instead of single wide. We got. 10 instead of 8 stumps. And then we have some overflow coming down there. Oh, there's a pink orchid. And... Or not pink orchid. Pink mantis. What kind of flowers are those, Digrat? Yeah. White pansies. So there's your flower. You probably need to separate a little bit out to be able to catch those guys. Maybe put some chairs around them to force you to kind of sit on them. Um, we did hit five stars, guys. We uh, Turtle Club, look at that. We have us a Lily of the Valley. Um, 
we had Flick show up and we sold all of the bugs that we were sending out here to Flick. We moved Sly's Memorial Tree and Crafting Bench down by our house. We also have changed a few things out here. Do you recall we were moving the orchard? We did get that completed. We got some bushes moved around it. We are starting to get our pathing system put back in place. So we'll have it to where people won't be able to just run through flowers is the end goal we're hoping to get on that. Um, here I am also talking about some stuff and I don't have my shovel out. And we're in the middle of morning chorin. So let's get over here because I remember seeing... Where did it go? I know I saw it in the corner of my... There it is. My brain's kind of slow this time of day, guys, but it caught up to me and told me, hey, go check that fossil out. All right. We are also looking for our morning DIY. What's kind of cool about the DIY bottles, guys, is they finally starting to do a lot of data mining on this game. And so we now know that for every human player on the island, they get two DIY bottles once in the morning half of the game and once in the second half of the game, which happens afternoon. However, if you do play afternoon and you don't play early on in the day, it will pin that bottle for you. So if you're just wanting to maximize your bottles, get all your people out on your switch that you can have a total of eight on the island and just cycle them through right after 12. You'll be able to get both bottles on both tune or all tunes. We did move our campsite over here. We think it's a real good usage of this little land because there's not really a whole lot we can do with it otherwise with what we have all set up. Um, let's see here. We have plenty of spacing here. And we have been seeing the occasional fossil popping over here as well. Um, we do have uh, some interesting stuff that we've been finding out. When you have your town completely covered in weeds, save for some select areas, you stop getting golden shovel spots. So these trees, these four trees here, um, they're actually the last ones that grew. Good morning, Victoria. Hope your weekend was good. So we got, I think all we had for fossils, just those. That's not too bad. I grab our hedges. Loving the wizard outfit. Thank you. I uh, I was able to get most of the pieces I needed for this from Digrat's Island. We usually go to each other's islands and get some stuff out of the shops. So the private orchard's still back there, guys. Um, our rock garden. We have this little pathway. It's going to be walled out as soon as I can get to leaf and get the remainder of the bushes that I'm wanting for that. But here's our rock garden, and it does have a money tree growing in the middle of it right now, which I kind of like that as a good placeholder. Um, that all's not going to work, though. I need to go plant these flowers down by our overflow real quick. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, and Jacques's doing some watering of the flowers. Thank you, Jacques. That's the reason why when we actually start getting rid of our smug people, instead of it being Kid, it'll be Jacques that uh, stays. Kid's kind of neat, don't get me wrong, but I really just like Jacques better than Kid. Speaking of Islanders, we do have two at the moment that are Persona Non Grata, uh, meaning that we are going to avoid talking to them in hopes that they prepare themselves to leave. Uh, one more aggressively than the other, and that is Bo. Um, we have a, a list down that he is Persona Non Grata. Um, we know that if the game sees us without certain personalities, it will actually line them up to come to our place more. Right now we do not have a Jock personality. And so we're hoping that we'll find Scoot or similar on an island. Uh, we did happen to have 
uh, one of her other residents left, which was uh, Truffles, our peppy resident. And we got Truffles replaced. Now, some people want to know who that is. It is one of Digrat's favorite peppy people in the game. I'm going to show you guys who it is. I'm also going to dig up these purple Cosmos over here. You still have Scoot. I would like to have Scoot, but I don't have an empty slot for Scoot. But I'm hoping that I will be able to trade a Scoot over for, or trade for a Scoot, or find a Scoot. Uh, there are so many things. It's just the way the system works is they have to be available, and you have to have somebody free on your island if you're getting them from friends. Apple's house. I don't disagree with Digra. She thinks that she should absolutely have more say over who comes and moves in. Uh, but this is who we have as a new tenant. It's Apple. Um, Degret's trying to get rid of one of her residents, and I'm trying to stay off of Apple's radar on, on the friendly side. We have yet to talk to Apple on any of our tunes. We show up to Apple, we leave, and unfortunately she looks at us very confused with her little green ears and her rosy red body. But it's also when we finally get to a point to where we can... Um, say hey you want to leave and she'll be ready to go over to dig rats but Bo we're trying to more aggressively get rid of and the way you get rid of somebody quote unquote aggressively we've looked at all the guides and done everything we can as far as that goes and it seems like it's still fairly random but there's a system in place called neglect and the way you do neglect is you actually gain neglect points on a villager and it goes away um, a ways toward having them think about leaving you found Poppy the other day you never really gave her another thought I'm I'm not familiar with who Poppy is um, sure I, I'll, I'll buy your hat, hat yeah 560 bills sure why not Poppy the other day. I'm trying to remember who Poppy is. Because I think Poppy's on my list of ones that I actually wanted to have. Let's see here. Do, do, do. We actually sat down and made lists. Yeah, Poppy's actually a normal one. Um, she's on my list of ones that I'd actually like to have. She's a red squirrel, yes. Yes, Poppy the red squirrel. She's on my list of ones that I want to actually be my, my peppy person. Um, Vitamina Vegemin, yes. Poppy the Peppy Squirrel. Alright, so... Nothing going on there. I, I don't remember how many fossils I wound up starting today with in my inventory, so I wouldn't have to come through the island. So you guys get a little bit of a an island tour for the most part before we go knocking on them rocks. Oh, the gardener was fired a few weeks ago, Digrat. You made a list too. Yeah, we, we made a list. We made a really weird list, though. Um, so people were like, oh, these are my favorites. And Digrat and I were like, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we realized that the, the Nintendo Amiibo cards, which the Japanese store has gotten a full restock of, and I believe the UK is getting a pre-order restock on it. Um, so they're going to print to order. Hopefully the U.S. store follows suit because the U.S. store, if they get them in, they're only three dollars USD to order. And so we started making our list of like who we really wanted, and then we broke it down to what trading card sets they were on. And so we figured out which trading card sets we would get the most "quote unquote" bang for our buck with. And that's kind of how we made our list of who we who we wanted. Because when you use the cards, when you use the amiibo cards to scan on this game, the game actually does you a huge solid. And it says, oh, you're inviting this particular person to your camp. Instead of you randomly not having a say in who moves out, you get to just choose them. 
And that ultimately is, you know, the kind of control we would really like to have all the time. But um, if we're only, you know, spending like $3 a pack of six cards versus the scalper price right now of $35 a pack of cards, um, we're, we're more apt to buy a few packs and, you know, spin the roulette wheel as it were. Um, seriously, the, the sets that we're wanting, like... It's mainly set three that we're looking for, I guess. Uh, set three and two. There's a lot of good ones in two that we were kind of looking at, too. All right, so... All right, so we're going to go there in just a second. Because right. I forgot to turn them in yesterday, Digrat. Work took up all my time. <laughs> But I plan to get that fixed when I get all that situated a bit more. All right, nothing in the recycle bin. Bum, 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 bum. Shopping terminal, 88,000 McMiles. Once we get somebody to move out, we are so ready to go on ticket searches like, like nobody's business. All right, no new fences, so we can close out of that. Shopping. Special goods. King KK, which I already have. Rain boots, bandages. An outdoor bench, which is really plain looking. Alright, so that's all that, that's all that. But yeah, the invite the amiibo camper thing lets you choose who you want to vacate. If you just have somebody at your campsite, you can play games with them and then they'll randomly choose somebody to kick off your island. You at least get veto on that. So if they wind up choosing somebody that you hold dear to yourself, uh, you can say, no, they're not worth you. And um, they absolutely try to make Marshall move out of Digrat's Island and she loves Marshall. She's taught Marshall to sing country western music and it's just amazing. Pardon me. All right. In honor of International Museum Day, we're holding a stamp rally. Okay. He uses Dustly. I knew I liked Blathers for a reason. They each have three stamp stations. Find the stations that each gallery and acquire the necessary stamps to earn a prize. Okay. It slightly is like a government rally of some sort. All right, we're going to assess our fossils because, boy howdy, we almost have two full days of fossils in our inventory. And we completed our museum, thanks to the combined efforts of Digrat and Eric, and um, another individual who used to watch our channel. All right, let's see here. Ammonite. Yep. Sarah's skull, ankle, torso. Nope, not giving an amber. Has the stamp day been in any other Animal Crossing games? I've been informed by a few people that it's something that is from other games. Uh, it was not in the original game. I am 99% sure of that. Now, while Digrat and I did play it very heavily, uh, we time traveled like nobody's business when we played it. And we hit, like, every single main holiday that we knew to hit for stuff. Um, I don't think she or I were thinking at all about National Museum Day. Like, to be honest, that sounds like a completely made-up holiday. Um, oh, here's a stamp. Neat. Stamp Spot Headwaters. Bam. So there's three here, Headwaters, Coral Reef, and The Deep. All right, so we just got to find all the other places. Uh, I don't know. Um, that, that's a good question. I know I will be checking every day on mine. Hey. Um, if there's stamps every day.
No, it's 18th to the 31st. Yeah. But it may be... Uh, yeah, I think it's probably given time. Dio, hello! And Victoria says... Hello, oh, Digrat. But, hey, Norman, welcome, man. All right. So we got... That all going. The Coral Reef, though, I think is a totally different place. Little lantern fish there. What else we got? I got two out of three stamps for the water area. I'm presuming there's three in each of the zones, if I had to really guess. Well, he seemed to indicate that there'd be three stamps, and it kind of said it was going to be like scattered amongst them in each of the zones, but... My poor coral reef. It's like only partially built. Because all you ever catch is sea bass. I, I catch more than sea bass. I mean, your stamp locations, the, our stamp locations were different to yours. Okay. Well, that is good to know. That means that there's quite possibly other stamps. All right. I collected all the fish stamps. And if I go to the stamp podium again. It just says, oh, huh, interesting. There's, so there's no, like, indication that we're completed with that. Well, there's, like, a little stamp in the bottom right-hand corner that's not punched. So I wonder if they actually, like, do a hole punch thing or something. It reminds me of, like, those stamp cards you get at, like, uh, sandwich places. You know, hey, after your tenth sandwich, you get a freebie. After your third fish, you get a freebie. Wait, what? So we're done with all those. Let's go into our fossil area. I do like the fact it's kind of forcing you to go to some of these places that you normally wouldn't go to. Because not everybody likes to go through the stamps and all that. Mollusks and athropods. Oh, and the puns are real. Oh. I, you know, I love a good pun. I love a good pun. I, I, I even love a greater pun better than a good pun, but... But I have a really good punny bone, so... Here's here's all the... The aquatic reptiles. Anybody wants a quarantine with it, he's up for grabs. Oh, Digrat knows she loves me, guys. We've We've been sheltering in place in Georgia for quite some time. And it's really interesting how options get chosen and picked for different organizations and states and groups and whatnot. Uh, for instance, our state has started opening things. And while our company is very health conscious, they have decided that we're not going to go back to work. Oh, I just passed it. We're not going to go back to work until September. Um, so we can work from home. And if we really absolutely find that we don't have the capability to work from home, we can go into the office every so often. Um, but we have to do a lot of paperwork to do it. Um, and they decided that it's been such a great browsing success that we're going to be working like this from home three days a week once we finally decide to go into the office without the paperwork involved. Um, but they decided to push it back. It was, we were going to be working like this from home 100% until the end of May. And then middle of May happened. And actually the beginning of May happened. They're like, no, we're going to wait until the end of July. And then they had a confirmed case of COVID-19 at, at the office. Um, at the building that I work in. Not in the room that I work in, but the actual building I work in. Oh yeah, the, the insect area. I totally forgot the insect area. I just walked right out. I was like, hey, I'm done. But I'm not. <clears throat> but the actual building I work in, they had a confirmed case. And so they're like, yeah, guys, we're not going to have anybody coming back into the office until September. So it's it's really interesting. But yeah, I, I do too like the, the insect area. It's really interesting how it's just really well laid out. 
get the different insects. Some of them are free range. Some of them are like in little parked areas. I don't quite get the rally part. The Sun Peak Path. Yeah, I like how it's got a little sunbeam coming through. Seeing selling tea olive shrubs, lilies, and cosmos. Just the tea olive shrubs? Yeah, I plan to talk to buyers when we're finished with them, Norman, just to see what he has to say. Because I don't think I need the tea olives. I think I'm needing hibiscus, if I remember right. Hello, Lou. How's it going, man? Last we talked, you were really looking into getting this game. Kind of wandering around my museum aimlessly just looking for yellow stands. Nothing here. I do like how... Okay, I gotta take a look at this, because this is some super activity. Is this the flies? Hello? It looks like they're flies, but I can't really tell. It... Actually, is this the sign for them? There's the fleas, the paper kite butterfly, like the only evidence that butterflies come out of cocoons. Should be there soon. Okay, yeah, they up their flies. I like the little nod to the Jeff Goldblum movie that's going on right there. You got the flies, you got the DNA splice little symbol right there. You got them all in their own little chamber. Say what? Nothing. Digret. Digret being Digret, guys. She's on her best behavior this morning, guys, and we love her for it. Okay, was that? Oh, th there's the Atlas Moth. Those things are huge. Look at that. That's the the uh, the ginormous butterfly. What are they called again? That's pretty big. That's the Emperor. Okay. The butterfly room. We got to go to the butterfly room, guys, because the butterfly room is awesome. Oh, there's other stamp location. Dragonfly Bridge. I did. And there's a shady path. So there's got to be another one here somewhere. But dig right, check it out. One dragonfly, two dragonflies. I don't know what causes the red one to spawn. The Atlas butterfly. Oh, uh, the Atlas moth, actually. Um. The huge is Queen Anne Birdwing. Queen Alexander Birdwing. These things are ginormous. Like, Digret took three of them to flick. And this thing is obnoxiously big. Like, the giant tables you get in the game probably take up a whole... Oh, there's the other one. The Shady Path, we just kind of like walked right by it. Alright, Bam. Great Purple Emperor is the gliding one. Okay. Thank you for that, Norman. Alright, so let's go see the the ridiculously big, like, bigger than that, even. This thing is, this thing, I, I'm collecting Atlas Moths, so the next time I see Flick, I can have him, um, you know, make one for me. But there it is, this thing right here. And I know I'm saying that and like pointing at the screen and you guys can't see that, but it's the blue and yellow flying one right by the potted plant. It it is probably the size of my mage hat when I'm trying to catch it in the wild. It's it's pretty big. I don't know what special colored flowers you have to have to spawn it, but I've been trying to cross pollinate. Well, to be fair, Digret, you've got quite a number of colored flowers on your island, too. Alright, that should be all of our stamps. Alright, Blathers. Let's go ahead and poke Blathers and wake him up a little bit. You finished the stamp rally? Yes, we did. <laughs> oh, there's a prize preach. I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. 
The completion stamp. There it is. I, I knew that it had to be something. All right, so explore the other exhibit rooms. Try collecting the stamps there. Um, hello again, Blathers. He's embarrassed because he got to talking. Do I want both tea olives and how many? Um, I, I don't actually have a need for any of the tea olives right now, Norman, but thank you. I, I'm needing the hibiscus is what I'm looking for a bit. It's not a huge priority right now. This is a man who loves his job. All right. So he said today. So that tells me that there's probably more than one day. So what do we get here? A bug plaque, a fish plaque, and a fossil plaque. Well, if there is more than one plaque um, or more than one day, I hope that it's better than just plaques because that would be quite interesting. Now, I, I doubt that we're going to have the, the painting area, the, the, you know, the, the sculpture art gallery. Let's go take a look at these, though. That would be really cool, Dick Rat. I hope that's actually I hope that's what that is. It is. Nice call, Dick Rat. So that means if you want to make your own like personal museum, because I know a lot of people. It's it's awfully close though. I know a lot of people are kind of doing their own personal museum kind of situation. And that's definitely kind of cool how you could do that like that. I'm still amazed that there's a different TV program depending upon the hour of the day. That still just gets me that they made 24 fake television shows with their own soundtrack for this game. The attention to detail that Nintendo put into this thing is just insane. There is our Nook's Cranny. Let's go ahead and pop in there. Now, we'll still be checking our tournament prices, Turtle Club, for various reasons. If we wind up getting a huge supercell, uh, we realize people would really enjoy being able to come over and, and make such purchases or, or transactions. Uh, so we'll check our tournament prices. Uh, we don't really plan to open the gates today, though. So, yeah, 121. No one wants to come over for 121, especially not on Monday. Um, our turnip prices were like 109, 110 yesterday. They were abysmal, um, especially with how we barely got lucky last week selling ours at like 170-ish to make it worth the time and the disruption. So we didn't buy them this time. Have we seen the 3 a.m. alien? What? Okay, we've seen Wisp, the ghost. Um, and I know in one of the Animal Crossing games, Gulliver uh, would crash and um, pretend to be an alien. But at 3 a.m. on the TVs, there's an alien. Oh, okay, television shows. I thought we were meaning like on the actual island. Um, I have seen the alien documentary show that comes on at 3 in the morning. That, that I have seen. A phonograph. Oh, Animal Crossing. Why do you have to try to make me poor? Um, we'll pass for now. We are slightly interested in this desk. We know it's going to be silly expensive too. Like 10 grand probably. Yep, 10 grand. Uh, we'll pass on that. This is a floor light. We don't know what color it is because it's super washed out. Um, we will buy it, though. That's a good possibility, Digrat. Um, Dio, thank you once again, Norman. Um, 
the trash bins, Eric Peterson actually sent us one in the mail. And so we were able to order all that we needed for our city design. That's kind of neat. Let's see. The rush to Tommy. I'll, I'll go ahead and get that. But I'll, I'll show you how that's all set up. Hey, Hawk, how's it going, buddy? We just did the stamp rally. We're kind of showing off the, the town, how things have gotten set up a little bit. Kind of getting back on the swing of things after having a, a week's disruption, so... And there is Persona Non Grata. So how can you be aggressive toward people? Well, in Animal Crossing, if you can get them to track you with their head and their eyes, and then actually talk to another villager at the same time, the amount of neglect that actual targeted villager gets increases. So we definitely would like to be talking to people near Bo, while Bo can watch us talk to somebody else. It is a little mean-spirited. I don't recommend ever doing it to real people. Um, however, for the way the game logic works, if you're trying to get someone to ask you if you think they should move, that is the quickest and fastest way to tell them, why, yes, yes, I do. We also found out from the internet guides out there, because internet guides are pretty amazing, um, this is not the optimal configuration for crossbreeding flowers. It's no longer considered that. So, um, we are very sad to know that now. Uh, we do have to make some changes to this garden when we're ready to have some of our sanity slip away. Um, we're going to have to re-engineer it. Yeah, yeah, they put it in the game like that, to where there is... And it's, it's really interesting... It, the way the, the data miners found out is they actually have friendship points and then they have neglect points. And um, so the neglect points basically drive a villager to want to leave the island. And now that's not to say that neglect points are the only way to get a villager to leave. Friendship points, people will stay around. But they have an easier time of asking to leave if they have more neglect than others. So ultimately, you want to just not talk to them. Um, fencing them into their house apparently is a, a way to get about getting neglect, but that's only because they just don't get to interact with anybody. The amount of neglect that a villager gets, according to what they found, is increased more so by them seeing you not being able to uh, interact with them, seeing you actually choosing to interact with other people. Um, some people said that whacking them with tools is a good way to get them to run off. It's actually not. If you whack them with tools, with like the axe or the shovel, or more commonly the butterfly nets, all that does is it actually increases the friendship points because it spawns a dialogue box with them. So right now, what we've been doing with Bo, uh, focused on Bo for the last day or so, uh, two days actually, I think, is we have not talked to him. We've actually went in inside and outside of his house. Uh, when he was actually trying to craft something, we refused crafting it. We walked in, saw that he was doing something and left. He still looked behind and was like, wait, what? Why, why are you doing that? And so, you know, it's, it is for people that attach, uh, you know, emotions to some of these villagers, like people that have been longtime fans of the game service have, like myself and Digrat especially, uh, it is a little hard to do. I mean, Digrat is understanding, and I'm understanding of the way the mechanics work, but like we have this new villager, Apple, and Digrat wants Apple on her island. And so I have this new villager that I'm not even talking to. And when she plays on this island with her tune, she's not even talking to it. Because we want that to tr transpire. We want that person to be able to go across. It, it's, it's horrifying to dig right, she says. And 
you know, to have something that is just one of the her favorite characters just be there and not be able to do anything is is difficult on top of being horrifying. So here is our rock garden. It's very basic, very simple. I know there's people that have done way more intricate ones, but I am just doing the lazy person's rock garden. It took slightly past six days to get all of the rocks to go in the right place. Uh, because we had a few spots due to the rollback that happened while we were planting all the weeds um, cause us a few unexpected stuff to just have rocks oh that's not what we try to do let's angle this come on and we keep missing our angle come on just a little bit all right we're gonna if you there's more than one way to hit a rock, as is there's more than one way to skin a pig, <laughs> Diggrat says. Um, well, you know, Truffles is no longer on the island, so we don't have to worry about scaring Truffles off with that. That was... Okay, that's actually the pre-placed stone that wound up firing off there. I was confused for a second. The rock garden does look nice. Thanks, Norman. I think, it, you know, it's really nice. It's going to help for when we do uh, travel streams and whatnot for morning choring. And the fact that all the rocks are in one place, I'm not going to have to run all over the island anymore to try to find it. Okay, let's aim a little bit better. There we go. And all it took was seven days? Yeah, it was the seventh day that we finally got the sixth rock. Now, on the first day, interestingly enough, uh, unlike what the guides were telling us, we did have two rocks spawn. So we were able, to, we, we thought we were going to be really, really good for that. Um, but on the, the second day, we had some bad spawn spots. So it just, all the, the ground we gained just went back. All right, so it's looking like. All right, so let's go ahead and put that spot there. So we got two more rocks left. This is something that would usually take us like 10 minutes to do. And we're able, totally able to zero in just one location and knocking this out within like four minutes. We even managed to get a gold nugget out of it, so that's good. Especially now that we have our first golden tool, our golden watering can. And here's our last rock. Of course, the, 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 the thing to point out, though, is we did six rocks. We didn't miss a single shovel hit. And we only got one gold piece out of gold rocks. So they are extremely rare. I get a gold piece out of this setup. It's been live for about three days now. I've gotten one gold piece out of the whole setup. So three days, one gold piece. Oh, there's one of the giant... Oh, we don't have a, a net. Okay. We do, we do have a slingshot. I figure out once it broke last night was when I was done playing. Oh, oh, we just lost our slingshot, and we lost our package. Our package was eaten by the weed monster. Um, you know, that's unfortunate, uh, Norman. Yeah, we, we had someone who was a, a viewer who was part of our community that violated the trust of one of other community members. Um, we... We've taken steps to prevent them from showing up on the actual Nintendo Switch due to that. Um, growing hybrids are... Um, it's not an easy thing to do. Digret clearly knows that because of her... <laughs> she says it's the work of the devil. Um, some of the hybrids are really, really hard to get a hold of. So that's not a entirely untrue statement. Some of the other ones, though, you know, they're not too hard. Um, 
It's unfortunate that somebody did that, though. You know? All right, we want to craft. Let's craft. We grabbed way too much of the wrong stuff we need. But we got what we needed at the end. But yeah, I'm sorry that happened, uh, Norman. You know, I, uh... I'm always concerned that that may happen on my island as well. That's why my friends list is my 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 best friends list rather because that's the the friends that are able to actually do kind of stuff like that that's why it is set to only those people that are um what we call supporters on the channel is because anyone who wants to you know mess with the island if they have been of support for the stream then it should be there rocking the outfit hey Rella, how's it going yeah i, I got the the bottle glasses, the mustache. The the only thing that's kind of a little off is the spell component pouch. But that's because it's actually a handmade snack pouch that was given to us by Wade. And so we have to kind of rock that because Wade's one of our buddies. Hey, zombie, welcome back, man. Yeah, you should be able to grow them back. Uh, three orange pansies. That's good. Um, orange pansies will eventually lead you to something but i'm i'm not no. oh orange orange is final evolution according to digger okay i'm thinking orange cosmos those lead you to black cosmos eventually all right so that was given to us as a gift by somebody we can't re-gift that so we'll put that in storage that we bought let's place the floor lamp okay that looks like a different color than that one Uh, maybe they're the exact same. Okay. Yeah, they're both blue, it looks like. Alright. So, rustic stone wall, boomerang, those we gotta go. My day was good, zombie. Thanks for asking. It was, it was a, it was a pretty chill day at work. You know, work has been one of those uh, feast and famine kind of situations. Either it's super busy and I don't have enough time to even collect thoughts let alone hear myself think um, or it's just so mind-numbingly oppressively slow that the time on the clock seriously stops ticking and sometimes very rarely but sometimes it becomes that one nice little perfect moment where time just slips away in that kind of that nice casual pacing and it was actually what we had last night it's been quite a few Sundays since I had that at work so I was really happy with that I also managed to get my streaming area in my work area for my main streams not the couch streams we're still doing that on the couch but my my PC streams and probably the unshelled stuff um, is all set up in one little centralized location now uh, who do we got chasing bugs? It's Puck! Oh, it's it's a very good way to relax when you're done with the day to just kind of chill with Animal Crossing. And I, uh... You know, it's, it's, it's just kind of a, a nice little thing. And speaking of chill, guys, Vrella is a fellow streamer of ours. Relaxing Funny Gaming is her actual YouTube channel. She streams a number of really cool... Oh, a wooden waste bin. Sorry, guys. Shiny object syndrome. Um, oh, oh, we already know that? Okay. Alright. But yeah, guys, check her content out. She does a lot of stuff. Very much in the same vein that we do as far as variety streaming goes. Um, it's been a bit since I've been able to catch any of her content, unfortunately, so I, I don't know what she's been doing recently, other than she does do some ASMR videos. So if you like ASMR um, and you like some chill stuff, absolutely go take a look at it. It's here. Speaking of taking a look, oh, Rilla, I, I just believe everybody that's in our community that has really good content that I enjoy should be mentioned when they pop up and say hey. Uh, accidentally managed to get one of your villagers to mainly water her nearby. Oh, that's cool. I, that's that's sort of what I was hoping to do over here by my villagers, and I'm thinking that might be 
That actually might not be a, a bad idea for some of these. Oh, it helps if I actually plant the flowers correctly. Uh, okay. Dig up the black roses. And then plant these black roses there. So there was some interesting stuff discovered about flowers. And there's been a lot of guides posted on it. The main thing is that when a flower is chosen to crossbreed, it will select any nearby area and it will plant its crossbred flower. Now I know black and purple roses don't crossbreed, but I'm needing to get these two black ones to where they can. Um, and when another flower is chosen to crossbreed, if there's any buds that are adjacent to it, the game will actually, in most cases, opt to not crossbreed. Accidentally bred black roses. Oh, wow. Do I play PlayStation 4? Uh, zombie, I play everything, man. Um, I do have favorites. Go ahead and throw that Nightbot command in there. Hey, A2, how's it going? Uh, but yeah, there's all of the consoles that I currently have available. Um, that list is slightly outdated because I now also have um, a Nintendo Wii on top of the Wii U, as well as an NES and an SNES Classic, plus the actual original hardware. Um, and I actually have, at present, other than the SNES, NES... Genesis and N64, those are currently waiting to be reconnected with the new um, furniture situation I got. But I play just about everything. I don't do much online with the PlayStation 4 the Xbox, though. I, uh... They have good games. I mean, I have a stack of PS4 games right now that I've not even touched. It's because I've, I just feel like the Switch has more compelling first games at the moment, in my opinion. Here's the, uh, the trash bins that Norman was asking about earlier, guys. What's really cool about these is you can actually throw things away in them. If you had something that was just worthless to you, you just tell it to pitch it. Like, well, none of the stuff that's in my inventory right now. Now we can throw away this conch. And it just goes away and poof. How do you store all of these? You have all my cords organized in Ziploc baggies. Oh, wow. Um, storage is a concept. Um, so, I'm really meticulous about how I bind my cords together because when I was a younger mag, I wound up damaging a lot of my console cords by causing them to split and fray and warp and stuff. So, as far as like binding them together and storing just a cord, um, I'm really careful about that, but as far as putting them together and storing them, um, I have this little thing that's a Christmas ornament organizer, and it works really, really well. It Basically, it's, it's made to design, uh, it's designed to encase the glass ornament balls that you get and help them not break. But it's also customizable to where you can move and change the size of the different storage areas. And so I've actually made them to where instead of it being big enough for one ornament, it's big enough for two ornaments in one pocket. And that will hold most um, power cords and AV cables and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, what's my favorite food? Oh my gosh, man. Um, zombie, you're going to have to narrow that down to a category because I eat a lot of good foods. Try surrounding the house with water, with island designer, but leave room for flowers within the perimeter? Uh, it's not computing entirely in my head, Norman, what you're meaning by that, but um, I do have some ideas of how I'm going to be moving some stuff. And it's, it's just a matter of getting to it. I plan to have this all ready to go for Friday morning stream. Wednesday we do island hopping where we go to other people's houses. And so Friday we'll have it open for people to come over and visit. Yeah. 
Stay home, their virus. Yeah, the uh, yeah the the virus. Oh, it's a hot dog hat. That is that is a hat. <laughs> So here, let's see what the clothing is here. Oh, is that... I don't think that's really what we're wanting, though. Favorite breakfast. Ooh. Uh, oh, for the hybrid farming. I've uh, I've got some, some guides on that, Norman. But favorite breakfast. Wow. Um, I gotta say that I'm really partial to a really well-made... Um, egg dish in general. I'm, I'm really a big fan of eggs, but um, I get to eat like fried egg sandwiches with just the right amount of mayonnaise to cheese to bread ratio. Those are just delicious. I get them every morning with, because they're, you know, again, delicious. Um, that's probably my favorite like homemade dish because it gets you like all your food groups you know, some like meat and some dairy and and some some grains and um, I, I guess uh, the vegetable might be inside the bread sometimes. But um, most people get sick by virus on video. Um, I yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I'm following there on that zombie, but but yeah, we uh, we've we've been doing our best to kind of stay home and and make sure that we're doing all we can to social distance to keep ourselves as healthy as possible flashy jacket I don't think that works with what I'm wanting to go for for one of the outfits I'm trying to build I need to take a real quick look on the interwebs guys uh, no we'll pass on that okay I do find it funny that they've kind of like got the Freddy Krueger rugby shirt, though. Which is kind of interesting. All right, let's see here. Is there anything that's unique that we've not picked up? Nothing there. That's kind of a Wilson Fisk kind of shirt. Let's grab that just for... Because we might decide to, you know, make our character bald or something and be Kingpin one day. A box skirt uniform, racer outfits. Nope. The hot dog hood. That's just... That's that looks like somebody put a balloon on my head. That that's what that looks like. I know the rest of the outfit looks amazing with it, so we'll we'll get it just because it's better to have it in your catalog. We'll probably give it to one of our villagers. Still toed boots, Zori's. All right, ready to make a purchase. No, we don't want to wear them because we have the really good outfit. All right. Um, yeah, uh, the, well, I've got a few more than that, zombie. Um, I, I managed to do turnip prices really well last week. Let's let's go check our ABD. Do, do, do. Uh, Norman, um, we don't... We don't support people that are cheaters and scammers here. So you'll find that your ability to converse with that individual is no longer available to you through this. So if you've got an alternate way to converse with them, you'll be able to. But outside of that, that's it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, so they shipped that to our place. All right, we run into our terminal. We'll take a real quick look. Mr. Leon, hello. Welcome to our family-friendly channel. All right, so... I think we can actually deposit about half what we can, got here. Yeah, we got about one... We, we got close to two million bells at the moment. We didn't buy any turnips this week because the prices were just really bad on our island. Oh, thanks for the subscription, Leon. Appreciate that. Ooh, Hawk. I like the idea of the special something with color wills. 
I I don't know what all of them are, but I am curious because I've got a few ideas with them as well. I really wish I could move my resident services. Like, I understand the, the airport is kind of non-negotiable on that, but I just made a really bad choice putting down resident services and really would like to be able to undo that one day. All right, so let's see here. We've done the rocks. We've watered our plants. We have beetles that looks like they're in our... Let's go ahead and grab our, our bug net. You don't buy turnips anymore? Oh, okay. Well, we... Uh, we we still don't have a problem with buying them. It's just, we need to get it like, unless it's under 95, it's not worth it in our head to fill all of our inventory space with it, to fill up our houses with it. Yeah, I don't have a need for either of those. Okay. Do -do 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 Okay, so there's that. There's that. Everything's looking good here. We have our... This is the new place for the dump that we have. Uh, we are probably building something out. We're old. That's what we were working on. We were working on building our bridge over here. Oh, poor Lloyd. Well, thanks, Leon. Thanks. We, we've spent a lot of time on the island. A lot of time. Uh, donations for our log bridge. That, that was where we were wanting to put that other 40 grand. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go help Lloyd out. Help a gyroid out here, guys. Do, do, do. Take that 40k back out. Saving those trees in the northwest corner of our island for a rainy day. We'll at least get that built. Bum, bum, bum. Well, that's cool, Mr. Leon. Um, my wife and I have both been playing for a very long time as well. Since the well, we say very long time, right? But it's out. It's been out for almost two months now. We've been playing pretty heavy for the last two months. I think between the two of us, we figured out that we had played. Somewhere in the ballpark of like 750 plus hours. Because we took both of our accounts, or all four of our combined accounts, and added it all together, and it was like, wow, we've put a lot of hours into this. But, you know, considering that it does a lot of things that you sort of get in real life, uh, you know, you get to go out and talk to people, you get to go out and shop, you get to go out and see a locust almost fly right on your leg. Um, all those things that we really can't do a whole lot in in society right now because of the situation with COVID-19. Uh, so, you know, it kind of helps fill a gap there. Oh, you got it the first... wasn't interested. I, I tell you what, um, when people describe Animal Crossing to other people... It's really hard to encapsulate how amazing the game is. It's like Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon and those kind of games. People are like, oh, it's like Walking Simulator with farming or Chore Simulator with farming. And you're like, no, it's so much more than that. You just don't understand how this game will just suck you right in. And, and then you kind of blink and realize you've spent, well, right now, for instance, we just looked at the clock and realized we're, we're going to be done streaming in about 10 minutes because we're just about finished with what we can do for our, our you know, our nightly, we call it our nightly stream because we sleep during the day. All right, so I think, I don't remember there being anything else that we needed. Okay, that's all that. And of course, guys, we will be opening up our island to those who have been watching our Friday streams. It'll be open, of course, as always, on Friday. 
and the objective for everyone who comes over gather as many weeds as you want because we're needing to de-weed the island now that we got our rock garden growing the way we wanted it to be the last thing we have to do for our rock garden though I'm glad I'm thinking about that because I keep meaning to do this I keep meaning to do this and so far I keep failing to do it so let's go over here we need to go to our ABD terminal Oh, well, you don't really beat Animal Crossing. You're, you're not entirely incorrect on that. Um, and you're not entirely, you know, correct either. There is a, a good ending, according to a lot of people, and that's getting the credits to roll. And that's with K.K. Slider. Uh, that's, that's what I'd call, like, the soft ending. And then there's the completionist ending, which is just ridiculous for those of us that do 100% completion, and that is get your creative Critterpedia finished um, for your bugs and your fish, and also complete out your fossils, complete out your, your reds gallery, and then get all of the um, catalog finished. And once you're done with that, then you're really done. Um, there are some people that say that one step further to be totally insane is to get everybody's poster, which requires real world dollars, and I'm not going to go that far, um, and to get everybody's photo, which you can do, it just requires you to somehow use um, your village to cycle through something like 370 islanders, which is, you know, ridiculous. Uh, when you reach five star, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, trying to, oh yeah, absolutely, trying to explain Animal Crossing to people. It's like, hey, check this game out. Um, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Digret dropped one of those so I could get the fighting game. Um, I need money for that too. But what I need more than anything right now is the last thing that I need for my rock garden so I don't wind up doing something very silly and accidentally is I am looking for oh cool so the blog pack the blog the bug plaques wind up going in your inventory for your catalog as well um, it's gonna be under furniture let's go here I think it's called low profile um, no. Okay, I'm looking for the toilets, guys. Because we know that toilets will reverse a eaten fruit. Those are kind of one of those things that, unless we're playing Ark, we're never really thinking about toilets. Because Ark does use toilets for experience points. But this game uses them so you can wind up... If you've eaten too much fruit, you can absolutely get rid of it. Okay. I thought it was a low profile toilet, but I guess we're wrong. All right. Well, we know we have one because it's in our actual bathroom. There it is, tankless toilet. Okay, so it's not too expensive. And we need to buy three of them. So these will be here tomorrow. If you can help her reach five stars, you guess is the next ending. Yeah, you know, that's also a thing, right? I mean, when, you, when you're playing the game as... as just chill and background noisy as this it, it's really it's really just kind of it's just laid back right i mean you're totally laid back with it you don't really want that experience to end it, it's it's more about a. this is one of those journey not destination games as i tell people and you usually don't want that to stop i mean 
But yeah, so what we'll be doing over here, Turtle Club, is we'll have the toilets here. Um, one, two, three, and if I understand correctly, we should be able to get on the toilet and then go have one pointed this way and then this one pointed that way and then this one pointed that way. We should be able to sit on it and then transfer toilet to toilet and that will force us to spend enough time to lose all of our apples. Well, that's unfortunate, Leon. Interesting, Dio. That, huh. That could be a way to at least get some people to water the flowers. The thing with the, the flower watering, though, is it's, it's kind of important to have, you know, for sanity reasons, right? To have villagers kind of water your flowers for you. But the way the watering goes is anything that an NPC waters has a lower chance of cross-pollinating than anything you water. And anything you water has a less chance of cross-pollinating than anything you water with the golden watering can. And anything you water with a golden watering can, and here's the crazy part, it has a less chance of cross-pollinating than anyone else who waters something with any watering can. So, you place the creepy doll in random areas. Oh, that is that is a little bit on the creepy part. Um, now I kind of want to make like a, a bending in the ink machine pattern. And like post it on the the silk screen wall somewhere. That would be kind of uber creepy. I don't think we want to necessarily do that. But I kind of want to. But yeah, Turtle Club, um, it's getting late, unfortunately. Uh, I wish I could play for forever. Unfortunately, I have to sleep. I have been up for going on lots of hours. But I wanted to show everybody everything that we've done so far. Um, this is possibly going to be blocked off further. So pole vaulting across here will be no longer a, a possibility. Um, they don't... Let's do some more island hopping soon. Absolutely, Hawk. We do island hopping on Wednesdays, man. So two days from now, we'll definitely be doing some island hopping. And I'm, I'm really hoping that the new streaming setup that I've got in, in my streaming area for the apartment we're in will be able to let me start producing some recorded videos uh, because it'll be a much easier setup and will take far less time to transition from one area to the other and to have um, everything set in the way it is. Um, did we pay this guy his money? We did. Okay. But we'll have that bridge there, so we'll have, you know, this is going to be a nice traversable island now. And because it's going to be this nice traversable island, there's going to be some some routing to it. Like down here, you will have to cross down to here, across the double bridge. This will no longer be pole vaultable over to kind of shortcut. This will be also where we put all of our flowers that we don't need to cross-pollinate, but we still want to be growing. So, and that will probably extend all the way out to like, to the backyard of this house here, is my thoughts and expectations on it. But yeah, I'm almost finished with your assignments for this trimester, so you might actually make it to the island hopping stream. Ooh, that'd be awesome, Victoria. We would be able to go to an Australia island. That would be really cool. The, the time difference would be interesting, too. Because if we were able to, like, go to Victoria's Island early on, her Able Sisters would actually be open before our Able Sisters is open. Because, as you guys know, Victoria lives in the future. It's it's getting close, or it's actually past midnight at this point for her. But it is awfully close to our bedtime, Turtle Club, so we are going to be calling it. Um, appreciate everybody who showed up today. We've had a lot of people come in today. Uh, Victoria and Norman started off. Lou came in. He's got the game coming up, so excited to have another member of the Turtle Club playing as well on that. 
Uh, we did have somebody pop in and just ask for a friend request and they got blocked by our mods. Thank you, Lurk Squad modders. Appreciate that. Uh, Rella from Relaxing Fun and Gaming. Check her out, guys. She is an amazing streamer. She's been um, having her own challenges during this as well, like all of us have. Uh, she is a, a teacher, and so you might get a lot of really cool stuff in that aspect of life as well by going to her channel. Uh, Zombie showed up as well, um, asking us how our day went. Thank you for all that. Uh, we are planning to do some PS4 content. Uh, that's part of what we're wanting to do with the recording stuff, so hopefully we can get that going. Nope, we pushed the wrong button on our controller. Who else do we have come in and say hello today? Uh, Leon VWF, thank you for popping in and joining us today as well. And Hawk, yeah, man, we we almost 11:30 for you, so not quite over midnight. But yeah, Turtle Club, thanks for popping in. Really appreciate it. I myself am going to have a good night. You all over there have a good evening, good lunch, good breakfast, good dinner. Uh, a good week. It's Monday for all of us, so the week is starting. Whatever you do, Turtle Club, though, make sure you have a good one. Stay safe, wash your hands, and thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and we will see you on Wednesday for another island hopping adventure.